so many stories in this uh, world championship from Kareem to the bad boys to three Pete to revenge but none really as special as the reunion of three friends and Pat O'Brien was able to sit down with the three yesterday for a very warm conversation their faces and their names are as familiar as your neighbors they are champions they are all-stars they are best friends who have found themselves playing basketball in the big time in fact, it doesn't get any bigger than this. One or two of us are going to have the championship after it's over. <laughs> you got it. You got it. You got it. Oh, you want one for the thumb now? Well, no. <laughs> he told us he wanted to fill this hand, right? That it's win right now. Yeah, it's over with. See, see, I can't take this two again. See, I'm not going to win. <laughs> This gathering of friends began in 1979 when a high school kid named Isaiah Thomas was lighting them up in Chicago. Across town, his schoolyard rival, Mark Aguirre, had graduated to college and was debuting in his first NCAA tournament for DePaul. The same tournament where we all met somebody named Magic. And it was there that the magical friendship took off. Mark came back after the final four and he's like, man, you got to meet Irvin. Oh, he's so cool. And I had just seen him diamond, you know, <laughs> laying it up. And I was like, I was in high school. I was, oh, please, please, you know, leave him. And so uh, finally, you know, we, 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 he, you know, said, well, you got to meet him. You got to meet him. And so finally he took me down to Lansing. I was like, where is Lansing? Lansing, <laughs> Michigan? <laughs> they got basketball players there? <laughs> So, Magic, do you feel like these guys are going to gang up on you this series? I know that it's going to be tough because Detroit is better, and, and I know that they're so both so hungry. You know, they've been so upset at me telling them every summer how it is. I, let me see the ring and so on, that they don't really want to come to my house anymore and hear me talk about <laughs> the championship. They want me to come to their houses and have them tell me how sweet it was to ride through the parade. So I understand. <laughs> they, the they, they, they think I don't know, but I do know. And it's there. And Grandpa. <laughs> that's what they call Grandpa. I saw you hit him but first. I'm a yeah, I did. See? I saw, right. him yeah, I saw him hit you first. I saw him hit you first. Yeah, you yeah, pushed me. You. But then I seen you oh, hit him. No, no I'm going to tell you. But, yeah, he hit me, but I'm going to tell you who hit the hardest. <laughs> when, when Dallas That's right. That's right. That's right. That's thank, thank you. He busted your mouth for that. That's right. That's right. 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 Thank, thank you for bringing that up. <laughs> if you are lucky enough to have a friend you consider a brother, then you know all about these three. And if you are lucky enough to have fulfilled your dreams, then you know what these friends are going through. And even if they weren't superstars, this would surely be a story worth telling and worth the lessons we can all learn from Magic, Mark, and Isaiah. No matter what happens, we still know our friendship is bigger than the World Championship. That's what it's about. And Grandpa Magic Johnson has been outscored 24 to 12 by the two Pistons here in the first half. Isaiah Thomas leading the way with 16 points. So we'll come back with Dick Stockton and Hubie Brown, the second half of the first game of the NBA Finals, right after these messages.